Let's go to the charge controller installation. Please keep in mind, always connect first the charge controller to the batteries and only then the wind generator to the charge controller. On the battery cables, please install a fuse. This is to protect your boat from a fault on the wiring that can lead to a ch short circuit and then uh, the boat will have uh, a major fault. Now let's go to the wind generator cables. As you know, the wind generator is a, an AC ch wind generator, so you have three cables instead of two. You can connect them on each position that you want, on all these three uh, plugs for the wind generator. So let's start with the first one. That is the first. And let's go to the second. And as you know, if you wish, you can also connect solar panels to the charge controllers up to 300 watt peaks. It's suitable for that. The DC output connections, they should be used uh, for anchor lights or similar, not to connect all your consumers. The consumer should always be connected directly to the batteries. Together with the charge controllers, you have also received this uh, plug with the connection for an external switch. If you want a switch for the remote break of the wind generator. <laughs> 